Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what spirit has in regards to love and romance. Your first card here is the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Chariot, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, sorry, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the moon and the hanged man and the four of swords wow and the tower what's going on libra all right so right at the center i have the three of pentacles some of you guys may be dealing with the third party type of energy while others of you guys um may have recently had or experienced some type of separation some ending conclusion in regards to this connection or this relationship now we do have the three of uh, sorry, we do have the five of pentacles with the seven of swords. So I feel that for some, some of you guys may be dealing with um, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like uh, perhaps for some of you guys, they went ghost on you. They're not communicating with you um, or there was some type of ending, some type of conclusion. And currently there's no communication. Now with the five of pentacles, what they're saying here is that um, in regards to this overall situation, um, you need to really try the best you can, Libra, not to try to reach out to this person because I see you guys almost like in a panic mode for some of you guys, even like over texting or over calling, uh, trying to force the communication to happen. And this is just putting you in a situation where it becomes toxic. Now, with the Ten of Swords, there was a conclusion. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that the partner walked away from you or they walked away because of a third party. Now, we do have the Chariot card here. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Cancer. Others, you may be dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, Pisces Energy is here as well, as well as Scorpio type of Energy uh, or Water Energy. But what they're saying here is that uh, the lack of movement or the lack of progress uh, in regards to communicating with you is because they're entertaining another person or their energy and focus is towards another person. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, this could have been a situation for some of you guys. We have two tens here. So uh, this is definitely like a culmination you guys have to keep in mind that we do have Saturn, um, we do have uh, Jupiter in Saturn, and, you know, ultimately what this is, uh, what, what happens with that type of energy is that anything that has been lingering or affecting the relationship or that we've tried to sweep, you know, issues under the rug to not deal with it, um, is coming to surface. And the reason for that is because even things that are hidden, so it could have been that you were unaware that this person was dealing with another person, that your partner was dealing with another person. And all of a sudden, you know, the lies and the deceit and everything that they were keeping hidden has finally came out to the open. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been like a confrontational argument, while for others of you, we do have two fives here. So there was definitely an inner struggle uh, Maybe for some, it could have even been like you you knew about this and you were still dealing with it because kind of sweeping it under the rug because you love this person and you don't want to give up. But what they're telling you here is that they're definitely holding on to that of their pride. So I think that this has more to do uh, with immaturity type of energy. And with the moon card, you know, the moon card, could signify, you know, emotions or hidden emotions. But with the seven of swords, which we have here, it's definitely things that are like, it's murky water. It's things that you're not seeing clearly because there's things that are happening behind the scenes that you're unaware of. Now, with the hanged man being stuck in seeing the situation only as you perceive it, like I said, without knowing or unbeknownst to you, um, for some of you guys, it could be that intuitively you've been feeling like something is off, like their attention and focus is not towards you and coming and going or like I said, a complete um, ending of a relationship and all of a sudden it feels like they kind of fell off the map 
Like you don't know what's going on because they completely went silent. Uh, but what Spirit is telling you here is that you have to let this ending happen, Libra. There is a higher purpose behind that. You have to tend. So it's a conclusion. It's an ending cycle. Um, for some of you guys, this could be the best blessing that has ever happened to you, but you're unaware of it because you're so concerned and trying to hold on uh, for dear life to this relationship. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. Um, but ultimately here, the message is very clear. And what they're telling you is don't um, don't resist the changes that are happening, Libra. Everything that is currently happening has a lot to do with the planet alignments that we have. And ultimately, it's to the best of your interest. Now, with the Four of Swords here, uh, what they're telling you is that there is something that you're refusing to see libra and this is not just with this relationship it could be connected to past relationships that you've had in the past there is something uh that either like you're very attracted to a specific person a specific energy and what they're telling you here is that sometimes um you tend to fall for the people that are very unemotionally available and it could be like a defensive mechanism. It could be a reason behind that. And it's because uh, it's almost like it's easier to. And for some of you guys, it could even be like falling for people that are from a distance, um, like the illusion of love, the illusion of who they are, not really getting to know the true person. So when their true character or their true personality comes out, it's like it leaves you like baffled because you never thought them this way or you would have never thought that they would treat you or be this way. Um, but again, like I said, it's almost like a defensive mechanism of yours um, because ultimately there's some type of fear, fear here about them really getting to know the real you or you becoming like really opening up and allowing them to get to know the real you. Uh, like I said, it is a general reading, so this could be their energy as well, uh, where once the relationship or the partnership starts to get really heavy, it's like they run for the hills, and this is something they've done on multiple occasions with past relationships because, again, like I said, it's almost a feeling of that of wanting to conquer, wanting to seduce, wanting to... Uh, attain and once you know once they have it or once they've convinced themselves that they were able to attain it um, then it becomes like uh, insecurity of if they you know stick around long enough or if they get to know me like the real me they're gonna leave me so before they leave me I will leave them type of energy uh, so again it's something about that you need to work on this Libra if this is your energy now your card here that spirit is giving to you is counseling, uh, counseling, sorry. Uh, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathic ear. So I think that there is a lot of, for some of you guys, uh, some of you Libras, perhaps you guys are taking some type of counseling, uh, going to a psychologist, going to therapy, that type of energy. If you're not, what spirit is telling you is that this is something that may be needed for you in order for you to really understand what uh, the deeper issue is. Now, you also have books. You connect to your life's purpose through your involvement with books. For some of you guys, it could be that uh, you are inclined um, to healing. You're inclined to, um, even for some of you guys, you may start to experience like wanting to go back to school, wanting to continue some type of education. For others of you, it's just the desire of uh even working on yourself or going internally, uh, trying to analyze your emotions and your feelings. Uh, you also have the artist card. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. For some of you guys, it could be that there is a need um, to separate, you know, relationships with ev like other aspects of your life and really cultivating those aspects or those sides to you as a whole perhaps you guys enjoy music perhaps you enjoy um, painting uh, these are things that perhaps on a subconscious level are very connected to you but may be very unaware because it's something you've never really like tapped into 
Um, and perhaps for some of you guys, it could be that you start to get into that uh, as working uh, or trying to work on yourself. And what you find is that it actually helps you through a healing process. So if you guys are thinking of counseling or uh, getting some type of therapy or even, um, like I said, if you find yourself being, um, you know, having the desire to connect to your creative side, I would highly encourage you guys to do so because this is going to help you release all that heavy energy, release um, and to actually ground you guys. So this is definitely a good thing. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of guidance and like, share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.